Many of you have asked whether or not I'm able to hold our alligator Rex, so today we are going to determine once and for all if I can. I'm going to go into his room and I'm going to pick him up and we'll see how it goes. This could either go really well or, as many of you have said, he may try to tear off my face or he may try to eat me or he may just end up eating me. So let's find out and determine once and for all whether or not I can hold Rex. You ready, Rex? Hey, buddy. Here's that cord. Hi. How are you doing? Do you mind if I hold you? Uh-oh. No. No. Rex. No, stop. Hey, no, Rex! Yes, I can hold Rex. He's a good gator, guys. I wouldn't say he's tame and definitely not domesticated. He is for sure a wild animal, and for that reason, plus how big they normally get, I would never recommend an alligator to anyone as a pet. And we weren't ever planning on having one either, but because of his history and his neglectful past, we had to take him in. If you haven't heard his story, um, because he is permanently stunted at this size despite being 30 years old, just watch any other video with him in the thumbnail and I explain his story in those videos. Anyway, yes, we can handle him. He really likes his head scratches. Oh, the head scratches. But he's, he's pretty well-mannered despite being an alligator. Uh, we plan on answering other questions that you have about Rex when we hit 50,000 subscribers. We'll be doing an exclusive Q&A session just about him. And as you can imagine, it's probably gonna take a little while to get to that point. So use this time to ask any questions you have about Rex and maybe about keeping alligators, whatever you'd like in the comment section below. And when we hit that 50,000 subscriber mark, we will be answering as many of them as we can in a reasonable amount of time. So keep an eye on the sub count and we'll see you at 50,000. Before you go, since there was so much interest last week over necklaces with Rex's teeth in them, I put together some just like that. They'll have either one large tooth from him or two smaller teeth from him, and these will be for sale to the general public. The necklaces will be $10 plus shipping, and here are the shipping rates, and the money will go right back to feeding Rex and paying for his electricity bills. Since I only have so many of these necklaces available until I get more teeth from Rex, uh, th they might sell out kind of quickly, so please keep an eye on the description below, and I'll keep you informed on whether I still have some available or if they are sold out. If you are interested in one of these glass vial necklaces with a tooth from Rex in it, please let me know at sales at snakediscovery.com, and we'll figure out a way to get one of these in your hands. All right, are you ready to go back, buddy? Here you go, you're a good boy.